I think we'll begin. Hi, everyone. Good evening. Uh, welcome to the Neshoba Regional School Committee meeting. Today is July 19th, and I'm going to call the meeting to order now at 7.15 p.m. And I welcome you all to mute yourselves, but join me in the Pledge of Allegiance so everybody can rise. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, indivisible. <laughs> Under God, indivisible. Under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. How quickly they forget when they don't do it every day. I needed my script. I knew it. I know I've said that thing a million times. Um, all right, guys. So first we will begin with citizens comments. Um, I have received none. And so we uh, will breeze right past that to our new business. So the first thing that we'd like to do tonight, and by the way, this is gonna be a relatively short meeting. We just have a couple of agenda items and this is a special meeting. So um, nothing you know, super uh, detailed is gonna be done tonight, but we had a couple of matters that we wanted to bring forth to the public and to you all. So the first one is um, the rental, the recent rental of our high school. And we wanted to give the public a little bit of information about that, considering there were um, a lot of questions swirling around. And so I think I will turn it over to Superintendent Downing. Hello, Superintendent Downing. Um, and perhaps you are gonna turn it over to somebody else to give us an, an understanding of what happened there. Yeah, and so uh, um, Madam Chair, can you just provide for me, what is the specific color you would like? Just basic execution of the contract and how that, that works? Yeah, I think um, you had pointed to our rental policy, yep. which is, you know, easily accessible to people through our policy yep. book, and uh, perhaps you know the the detail yep. of the contract regarding the amount and where yep. the is going to be used. Yeah, so our facilities use policy is posted on the website, um, and in that policy. It describes how uh, facility rentals uh, returns back into our facilities department for the running of the district. So all rentals that come into us uh, return back into the system in that fashion. Uh, this is a special case and that this was uh, um, a film shoot. And so a special contract was constructed at that point uh, with the previous superintendent, uh, Ms. Clenchy, uh, to the sum of $50,000 for facilities rentals. There's clauses in there for overages and time, or uh, and, and there's clauses about changing of, of uh, uh, signs and various things. Uh, those of you that have driven by would know it does not look like our high school right now um, because they've done some makeovers over those things, but everything is returned to its previous uh, state. Um, and so, as I said, those funds return back into the budget through uh, uh, as stated in the policy that we have online regarding facility usage. Does anybody have any questions or want any further clarification? Sure. I can see everybody. Okay, so thank you for that. Superintendent Downing, we'll move on to the next item on our agenda. And that is an explanation. This is, by the way, something that is going to require our action tonight. And it was largely the reason for our meeting. Um, we are going to be uh, looking at approving a bid for our track resurfacing project. And again, I will turn it over to our administrative team so that they can help us understand what's going on. So yes, at this point, I would like to introduce Ms. Moroni into the meeting uh, to explain uh, how uh, the action that we're asking you to take tonight in terms of the resurfacing of the track. Uh, you have a memo in front of you that was provided uh, that describes the cost of the project along with the funding sources for that. And it's basically activating those funds that are already in place, uh, but I'll let Ms. Moroni speak to that. Yes, um, back in June, um, as the memo states, uh, we went out to bid for um, having the, um, what they call the wear layer um, replaced on our track at the high school. And um, during this process, we received one bid and it was responsive and deemed responsive 
by um, Gale Associates, who is the engineering firm that we hired to oversee our um, bidding process for this project. Um, as far as the details, um, Rob Friesrich would probably be able to give you more detail if you have any questions about what exactly that is and, and how it's um, how, how that project takes place. But um, it was $156,000. And um, I detailed in the memo exactly how that was going to be um, paid for in, in, um, in our, from our, um, a stabilization fund from um, monies left over in the original track construction project that we left that money there years ago, only knowing that in the future we would have things like this that would come up and um, wanted to make sure that those funds as they re remained in there um, would only be used for the track or the field. And the, the balance, which was in excess of what we had in, um, in stabilization and in that fund it would have to come from the regular appropriation, which is about 3,000. Um, I'm sorry, I'm offering, I'm operating off of one screen here. So it's hard for me to see too. Um, I see it, Pat. I think it's- you see it? Can you see it there? Yeah, it's a regular appropriation of $3,100.35. Yes, that's exactly it. Which um, I had a little bit of money in, in the budget that I knew we there was a possibility that we may need a little bit extra money for that, not knowing what the total engineering costs and everything were going to be in regards to that. So does anybody have any questions? I see Steve's hand. Go ahead, Steve. Okay, the total cost is one hundred and fifty-six thousand, and that includes the engineering costs. No, it does not. Um, last year, we used some of the money that was left in that fund to cover the engineering costs. So there, there is no new engineering cost that has to be paid. No, no. Might That's I suggest? Why... Might I suggest that uh, rather than searching the budget for it, that part of the fifty thousand dollar fee that we've just been uh, we've just received from the uh, from the film company be allocated to pay the balance of the uh, track resurfacing. That's just my recommendation. Um, Mr. Rubenstein, I, I think it's a fine recommendation. I think when it comes to take uh, collecting for facilities usage, we need to return it according to, to the accounts where the policy states that it belongs. Uh, but certainly, uh, you know, we can look at that in terms of, of how we pay those coverages, so. Well, it's, it, it's facilities and this is a facility. The track yeah. is a facility. Yeah, so. I, I, I'm just thinking about the specifics of that uh, particular account, so. And, and I would like to say that that um, revolving fund that we're talking about um, has taken in revenues in the past for the use of uh, outside sports organizations. Yeah. So it, it would be something that we could consider. Yep. Are there any other questions about this bid or about how the money is being allocated? Pat, I have a quick question for you. Is this, yeah. is this repair or this resurfacing project, is this something that you anticipated or is the track wearing faster than we thought it would? And I'd like to um, have Rob Frieswick answer that for you. He would probably give you a little better explanation than I could. No, the track the track is wearing um, it, it normally. Um, this this typically place takes place every seven year. Well, seven in the seven year time period. Um, you know, they suggest that you recoat that wear layer so that way you don't get into the, the track is made up of three different surfaces. You have your asphalt base layer and then you have um, your middle layer, which is an EPDM rubber. And that's what gives you your cushion um, and stability. Um, and then they have the structural wear layer that sprays over the top of that to protect that middle layer. Um, so, you know, just from normal use, uh, especially in the corners, the starting lanes, things like that. 
um, that structural wear layer, um, it wears down. And that's when it's time to come in and, and spray this, you know, the wear layer back on there. Um, and it buys, you know, it buys another, you know, five to seven years of longevity with the track before, um, you know, before the whole track needs to be basically scraped up to the asphalt and redone. Thanks so much. Any other questions, comments? Lee, I have a question. Go ahead, Amy. Um, actually, I have two questions. So we put out um, an invitation to bid, but we only got one response. Is that, Pat, do you feel comfortable that this, that's enough of a response? Um, like to yes, I do. I, I feel comfortable. Um, because um, the the bidder was the original um, company that constructed the actual um, track surface. Is that correct, Rob? I believe so. Yes. Okay. I'm sure. I don't know how many people out there do this kind of work. I'm sure there's not many, but yeah, there's, <laughs> no, there's, there's not a lot. Of, yeah, there's not a lot of players in the game, so. Uh, yeah, right. One of the projects last year that was supposed to get done got pushed off. So now this year is, I think a lot of the contractors are just overwhelmed um, where this company yeah. has done the track before they're familiar with the project. So, Okay, thank you. And my second question, I just want to make sure I'm understanding this correctly, is that we, we've kind of set aside, the school district has set aside money that covers this project except for um, the regular appropriation of three thousand one hundred thirty-one dollars. That's that's the additional cost that we would have to take out mm -hmm. of the budget. Is that a good way of looking? That's correct. At? Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Sure. Any other questions, comments? Yeah, yeah, I have a question. Yeah, go ahead, Karen. So, redoing this work would would is going to gain us another about seven years on the track. Is that? Am I understanding that right? And then it's going to have to be dug up and redone. Yeah. So, I, go ahead. Nope, sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, it'll it'll buy us another five to seven years. We'll you know, which hopefully will put us right you know at the end of you know the new high school project, whatever okay. that looks that, like. That um, was my other question. So so we're not. That, that, yeah, that's what we're trying. And then ripping up a track be, with you know several years left. Okay. Exactly. Yep. Smart one there, Mr. Frieswick. Um, any other comments or questions about this? So I am uh, willing to accept a motion here. I think Mr. Gleason, you might have that. I do, Madam Chairman, thank you. Uh, I would move the uh, Neshoba Regional School District Committee authorize the superintendent to execute a contract on behalf of the district with Cape and Islands Corporation for the completion of the track resurfacing project and Neshoba Regional High School subject to final terms being acceptable to the superintendent and the district's legal counsel. Do I have a second? Second. Thanks, Steve. Any further discussion? Okay, we can take the work. I'm just gonna do my very best here to move around the circle. Um, Steve? Yes. Uh, myself, yes. Brett? Yes. Karen? Yes. Sharon? Yes. Mary? Yes. Joe? Yes. Amy? Yes. And Rich? Yes. So that is a unanimous vote. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Good luck to you all on that. All right, guys, so let's move on to our next item on the agenda. And that is a couple of donations that we have um, to the Neshoba Regional High School. And I think perhaps uh, Superintendent, um, this goes over to Tanya. Yeah, I'd like to bring in Tanya Rich to speak about these donations. Thank you very much. So I'm here requesting acceptance of two donations that we received. Um, the first one is in the amount of $1,000, and it's from a community member who asked to be anonymous. But this community member asked that this money go directly to the mascot rebranding process. And then the second donation um, came from attorney O'Neill's office um, in memory of Thomas uh, Morris um, in the amount of $1,600. And this is towards the athletic department. Um, Mr. Morris passed away back in 2010 
and his wife ended up having to go into a nursing home. So once Attorney O'Neill uh, finished probating her um, estate uh, in her will, there was, you know, leftover, if there's any money left over, it would come into Showbath Athletics. Um, her husband, I actually was, when I was in high school, her husband came to every single one of our games. He'd be right at midcourt or, you know, midfield, and he was there cheering us on. He drove his red Corvette. He's from Lancaster. Um, I remember him uh, at everything. So this was very nice to receive in the mail um, last week. Um, so these are two donations that we would like to accept um, and move forward with these. Such a great tribute. Thanks, Tanya. And so generous of these two donors. Really appreciate that. So um, I can accept a motion on this, Mr. Gleason. Uh, thank you, Madam Chairman. I would move to accept some $1,000 donation to the Neshoba Athletics Department from an anonymous community member to be used to help with the cost of rebranding of the Neshoba Regional High School mascot and to further accept the sum of $1,600 on a donation to the Neshoba Athletics Department in the memory of the late Thomas N. Morris, avid fan of now the Neshoba Wolves. Do I have a second? Second. Thanks, Steve. Any discussion, questions? All right, seeing none, I will take the vote. Steve? Yes. Myself, yes. Brett? Yes. Karen? Yes. yes. Sharon? Yes. <laughs> Mary? Yes. Amy? Yes. Rich. Yes. And Joe. Yes. The motion passes unanimously. Thank you. And we're, you know, extremely grateful of both these donors and this money coming towards Neshoba Athletics. And thank you all. Okay. All right, everyone. So uh, we have one, sorry. Uh, we have one final item here on our agenda and that is really just informational. When we constructed the school building committee, um, I guess a year ago now, maybe more, we um, made one of the placeholders for the superintendent of schools to be on that committee, whoever is to hold that position. So we just wanted to inform the community um, and make sure that everybody understands that the new member of our school building committee is going to be our new superintendent, Kirk Downing. And he was able to join us tonight at one of those meetings and we know that with all of his experience, he's going to be um, a really valuable member of that committee. So we're glad you could join us there, Kirk. Thank you, Madam Chair. I much appreciate it. And, and thank you, Mr. Gleason, for chairing that committee and having me. Um, all right, guys. So we have no unfinished business and nothing else on the agenda. So at this point in time, the next time that we will see each other is at our summer workshop. I look forward to seeing you all then. I hope you have a great um, couple of weeks, uh, hopefully in some sun. So uh, motion to adjourn. So so moved, Madam Chair. I'll take Joe on that. Can I have a second? second. Oh, second. You, you got it. Nice job. Let's go for the roll. Steve. Second. Myself, yes. Brett. Yes. Karen. Yes. Mary. Yes. Sharon. Yes. Joe? Yes. Rich? Yes. And Amy? Yes. We are adjourned. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Goodbye.